Okay, this video is going to look at comparing fractions. We're going to look at which fractions are bigger, which fractions are smaller. Okay, so let me show you a couple examples here. Um, let's go back to the pizza example. Um, if you're watching this at around dinner or lunch, I apologize if you are hungry. I'm going to try and draw eighths. Okay, so eighths. eighths. And I'm going to draw two separate pizzas. Okay, these are two separate pizzas. So as soon as I see a fraction, I like counting the pieces and writing it as a denominator right away. That way I know there are eight total pieces within this set. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Which fraction is the greater number? So let's start off here. We're going to shade in two pieces okay so that's two eighths and here we are going to shade in three pieces okay so let's look out who ate more pizza and here this person had three slices this person had two slices both pizzas are the same size both are cut up into eight pieces so this is the larger fraction, larger fraction. Here's the important thing to remember. When the denominators are the same, so same denominators, the larger numerator is the bigger fraction. Okay, in this case, three over eight is bigger than two over eight. Um, and I'm gonna show you another trick when we get to our decimals on how to figure that out or how to confirm this okay if we were to look at two numbers like say 6 over 16 or uh, 10 over 16 which is the larger fraction and in this case denominators are the same numerators are different this is the larger fraction that number is bigger so now I'm going to show you another one, another example. One third or one quarter. Which is the larger fraction? Now, both numerators are the same. So we have a little dilemma here. We need to look to the denominators. And you see this is a smaller number. Okay, let's draw this out first before we jump to any conclusions. So. Again, I'm gonna go with the pizza example. This right here is a three piece pizza. And this one right here is a four piece pizza. Three and four matching the, the denominators. So let's shade in what's being represented here, which would be one third, and this is one quarter. Here it is, one quarter. Okay. In this case, because the number is smaller, the fraction is actually bigger because it is cut into bigger pieces. So the smaller, smaller denominator has bigger pieces okay as time goes on you will see how this is um, this is gonna happen you're gonna see it you can even look at other YouTube videos um, but this is this is one one little thing that some students get mixed up with because they see all oh, this one's smaller yet this should be a smaller fraction that is not the case it is actually bigger okay and I know I teased it earlier, I said we would do this in another video, but I'm very impatient and I like to get right to the tricks. Here's another trick you can use. I want to show you. Um, okay. Um, when you have these numbers here, okay, if you take the numerator, divide it by the denominator. So in this case here, let's go 6 divided by 16. That gives us 0.375. If you have zero experience with decimals, try not to panic right now. I will get you through it. 
And if we go 10 divided by 16, it gives you 0 decimal 625. So because both these numbers start with a 0, go to the next one, decimal, we're good. Here's where there's a difference in the tenths column, 3 and 6. This number is bigger, just like we said. If we go back to the original example, 2 divided by 8, 0 decimal 25. And this 3 divided by 8, 0 decimal 375. This was the larger fraction to begin with, and here's the evidence why. Now let's go back to, let's go to our last example here. 1 over 3, so let's go 1 divided by 3. And there's a lot of 3's there. Usually we'll just take the first 2, and we put a little line on the top. That indicates that the 3 keeps going and going and going forever. And 1 divided by 4, I know a lot of you are screaming already. It's 0 decimal 25. This was the larger fraction, and the decimals can prove it. So to calculate the larger fraction using a calculator, divide numerator by denominator. And you may have noticed that fractions is basically division. One divide by four, one divide by three. So you will get more evidence of this as we go along.